This is our in-depth look at tapeworm. Tapeworms absorb the horse's nutrients through its skin. The most common are about one inch around the ileal cecal junction. The smallest are about a half inch long in the stomach and small intestine. And the biggest can be from four to 30 inches long. Tapeworms infect a horse through an indirect lifestyle. The arribitid mite eats the egg. The horse eats the grass with the mite on it. The eggs are now in the horse and they mature into tapeworms that have multiple segments and each segment has eggs inside. The worm will begin to release segments that are laden with eggs into the manure. The eggs at the horse, the segments disintegrate and the eggs are then free to be eaten by the mite. The problems tapeworms can cause for your horse are colic. They can cause 81% of intussusception colic, which is where a piece of the small intestine telescopes into the cecum, and this can only be rectified by surgery, and the outcome is iffy. They cause 22% of spasmodic gas colic. They're not totally sure why, but they think the tapeworms interrupt the nerves of the intestine, which anything that causes irritation to the Intestinal lining is not a good thing, and a large number of impaction colics in the cecum. Fecal egg counts aren't always effective, actually only effective about 3% of the time to find the tapeworm eggs. Uh, they can do a blood test for tapeworm antibodies, and that can help determine the level of infection of tapeworms in your horse. And Prezaquantil currently is the only dewormer that will rid your horse of a tapeworm infestation.